Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Terra Firma Craft Season 3 with me Sid and uh, I'm just heading out to uh, uh, walk into something. <laughs> Tiki touch. Um, I'm heading out to my food situation, my my good food, my my sandwiches that were doing me no end of good health wise have, uh, have run out. That hasn't finished yet. I haven't got a cheese in the freezer however so that's not a problem. Um, let me grab soya i think rather than faffing around with the uh, with the meat uh what we got there 128 145 bunch of seeds and uh, a bunch of very very oh, all right that's not available okay that's fine uh, the other thing we need is some uh, some grain of some description. That's not grain. Let's go for some of this. Um, yeah, we need to get we need to get some uh, wheat going or bread going, and uh, possibly possibly need some veggies as well. But uh, we'll just keep on rotating these crops around so they uh, they don't get into uh... let's go for those that should give us plenty of veggie which we can plant on that side like that lovely right let me uh... I'm so want to kill all these chickens I will get to it <laughs> Uh, one day so between episodes i have been a very very busy busy uh fella and i have oh i needed that cheese didn't i damn it oh i'll have to go grab that in the morning um i've been using the forge setup that we uh built the uh this thing i've used uh nearly a th three quarter nearly a quarter of the activations from that it's it's really interesting how that works you light it you basically fill it up and light it and then it, it counts down the activations doesn't matter how long it takes I, I could leave that for four or five in-game years and it would still be there which is potentially not the uh the most accurate way of doing things but um it at least does let's see what we've got left on there you see we've got the bread's not we ought to really take this lot off and do a uh, decay and then we that gives us a little bit of bread to be going with as well we've got all sorts of interesting stuff i should put those away uh, i had to go out and get oh what's the word i'm looking for here uh i had to go out and get timber to fuel the coke ovens so i went over to the the forest there the for the the forest of doom um over that way and and i found that dropped on the floor from uh, obviously a disagreement between an enderman and something um which was kind of surprising because i didn't think ender pearls dropped in in terra firma craft I may be wrong, but I didn't think they did. Let me just, uh, you're not ready to eat yet, are you? Right, let's get some more bread um, dough done and uh, we'll grab the cheese. That cheese might be ready now, actually. So we did that. I've been, been at the forge and once we've got our food situation sorted out, we will be in a very good position to go and have a look at what I've been up to. Uh, I think you'll like it just a little bit now hopefully you guys enjoyed the montage last time um i had a great deal of fun uh, no you're not ready okay fine 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 not a problem we can wait it's only cheese it's not it's not the end of the world uh, and we'll have that one going bang there we go so that's that we'll go and grab the cheese that'll give us everything we need to make our nice sandwiches once we've cooked well we've got bread so we can make sandwiches we can cook this bread up and dough and yada yada does that 
I don't know whether the dough actually decays. I'm, I'm assuming it does. I can't. I can't imagine that they would have missed that particular loophole. Um, but there you go. It's possible. Anything's possible. So yeah, um, getting there steadily. Uh, we we will have. We will have. Absolutely, categorically, we will have a black steel in uh, uh, anvil <laughs> get there we will get there eventually it takes a while and uh, we will absolutely have some black steel tools right you you can go on we'll stick the cheese in we'll stick the soya have some veg and we shall have some fruit just keep my eye on that create uh, create create bang 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 and bang that should do us for now how are you doing you are very light right ready we're ready for this all comrade mmm grab him grab him quick stack him and we're good and then we could take this out right that sorts us out food wise uh, probably need to go and stick some of this away so I'll do that and oh god you know you forget that I put the well I forget you don't I forget that I put the pressure plates in so I go and open the door then step on the pressure plate and it slams in my face which if that was real life would be probably highly hilarious and very slapstick um, doesn't have quite the same effect unfortunately in this uh, we'll stick both of those in for now they can uh, right let's go and get this on the show on the road so yeah the bellows absolutely brilliant you just forget in fact the entire setup worked really well um, I have got quite a bit of wood ready for those I need to make a third one I think but uh, it's been suggested that I also need to get some barrels to get the creosote oil out so that's one to sort out uh, we have got uh, that's four eight sixteen more ingots worth of iron in there that's got plenty of activations uh, I think off the top of my head that should have plenty in it that's got a reasonable amount in it I've moved this button over here and put the torch on the side because the button here was sending a redstone signal to that which has also got a redstone signal from the lever so yeah but apart from that nothing changed we have got as we remember last time we have 16 weak steel ingots but over here we have 16 pig iron ingots and combine these and these together and we will have 16 plus these two 18 black steel which means that we will have enough to make an anvil and we'll have four ingots left over to play with nice huh told you I've been busy took a while I mean don't get me wrong it wasn't like done in in seconds um, but it wasn't that bad an experience so my mission now and I'm not probably I uh, yeah, I'll do a little montage I'll, I'll do a little teeny montage for you but nothing major <laughs> um, but my mission now is to get this lot heated up weld these uh, and make more of these we probably should weld these as well I'm wondering whether to just stick um, stick a whole load in this one at the same time they're not going to uh, overheat so maybe we should run two two of these forges at the same time as I say that that's unimportant because this is where we want the actual work to be taking place so yeah maybe do it that way um uh montage maybe maybe not see how i feel but uh i'll see you now. 
Okay, we're we're ready. Oops, to weld. Uh, so we should weld these together, and then we need to go into here and re refine. Uh, and that should be it. Black steel, excellent. It's not so bad once you get to this stage, and then we can take another one out and get that one going. And then we've got the other side to do as well. So refine it. And it's a pretty easy uh, refine recipe as well. How are you doing over there? You're not there yet. Uh, we'll stick one of you in and one of you in. Those are about ready. So let's get those in and weld those up and there is number one excellent uh, I'm going to stick those two in there for now let's see how they're going yeah so I'm going to continue on with this and uh, I will see you in six double ingots time okay um, waiting on those two to go this is nearly ready that one is not quite there are you going to flick over but I do have absolutely everything. Let's just let this flick, flip over the uh, last one, get all four ready. Let's go for that quick if we can. Weld and refine. There we go. We can stick that in there. So I've got four ingots of black steel. But more importantly, I've got, I uh, need to do this stud here, one black steel anvil, which means of course I can now chop that down, we can plop you up, we can jump in there, we can stick that and that back in there, we can uh, pop that there for a moment, we can obviously melt that down to get 14 steel which in itself is pretty good, uh, it's the only saving grace of this anvil system in my opinion uh yeah so it's official we are now tier five uh let's make a sword my usual my first thing i always make is of course a is it a sword well we can't make a sword it's a double isn't it for a sword uh, hang on let me put that one back so we will make the sword the sword is as i say the the thing i always like to have I saw sword there we go and it is a bend bend hammer no bend 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 hammer ah almost there bend 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 hammer bend 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 hammer <sighs> almost there Not quite though, is it? Bend, bend, hammer. Oh dear. <laughs> hammer, no. Hammer. Oh, oh dear. This is uh, going to irritate me. These always irritate me, but. Uh, oh. Almost. Not quite far enough. No, it's got a cold. Um, yeah, let's get some black steel tools made and I'll be back again in a Okay, well, I've just recorded and spoke to myself for a while, which was fun. Um, yeah, we've made, we made, I made a pick. I also made a black steel chisel. Um, the damage on the steel sword was 328. The damage on the black steel sword is 357 with a smithing bonus of 32 so that's not too bad we're just waiting i'm trying to get this this steel ingot in anvil to melt for me uh, there we go and uh, then we can reclaim the 14 ingots of uh, of steel that 
is running through there once that you know, I mean obviously we need to we need to get that back that's uh it's the one i'm not sure whether i you know when you've realized that your recording has failed you can't remember whether whether you said something or not in the last segment or the current segment which means i'm now going did i mention the saving grace of getting your iron back your metals back from the anvil i can't remember yeah but it is the one saving grace for me that the fact that even the fact that you have to upgrade these is a pain in the backside but at least you get the metal back um which is you know when you consider that we need this um this so i'll get 14 which will be enough for three more lots of that which will give me enough to make lots of black steel and yeah it'll all be all be peachy 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 um but of course we do have to process the, all the stuff down so that's going to take me a few minutes and once that's done i will be right back with you so see you in a minute all right we're just waiting for the last two ingots to uh um cool um now it's our 14 ingots back i noticed these have also finished so we should get another another batch of this lot going what i would like to do as i say unfortunately i have uh, insufficient iron at the moment to do that typically again um is get yeah i suppose we should also get these uh one of these barrels going shouldn't we we'll borrow some of that i think that should give us plenty to get one and uh, two two barrels we'll have uh, one there and one there uh, and no you don't want to take that i think i'm gonna probably gonna have to do this with bottles then i presume um Let's have a look. Got some bottles. That'll do us. Oh, and you're you're cool enough. Let's just go and look at what a, a stack of fourteen steel looks like while we're. Oh, look at that! <laughs> you know, it's it is incredible when you consider that you when we play vanilla Minecraft and we we play the game and you know we, we're kind of going, oh man, look at me. I've got less than 128 ingots of iron and it's like I've got none I've got 14 ingots of steel that's that's your lot uh, okay let's try that no mm. no 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 I have got a sneaking suspicion that we are going to have difficulty getting this stuff out of here yeah that could be problematic i don't think i actually because we only got we can't do it there uh, that is a railcraft creosote bottle which is but that's a terra firma craft bottle not a minecraft bottle can't make those i suspect we're going to have problems uh it doesn't matter push comes to shove i break the furnace lose a career so i don't actually need career so for anything um in the version of this i'm i'm playing because i i just didn't implement uh railcraft beyond beyond that uh i didn't didn't really want railcraft beyond that i just wanted those furnaces and go oh, come here you come here I'm going to harvest some uh, things. We're going to try and uh, do something I know I've been told off for not doing for the last few growing seasons of these. And uh, so let us get this done. Uh, we are going to try and just get. Uh, okay, stack. <laughs> We're basically going to try and do some olive press and get some olive oil going um for the lamps because we haven't done that yet and as i say i keep getting told off because i keep on missing the uh, olive harvest um 
and it's like you know yeah, you missed the olive harvest again it's like yeah i didn't see them i mean they're really really well disguised you know somebody whoever thought olives making olives you know dark green against a dark green background wasn't thinking about the poor old farmer who has to harvest them me maybe I wasn't thinking about me let's let's be brutally honest so I am going to go quickly grab all of these uh, and hopefully we will be able to get them pressed I've got um, two barrels strangely enough that are not doing a great deal because uh, yeah they ain't working <laughs> can't figure out how to get the creosote oil out then I may just make the barrels so might as well use them eh and uh, we'll try a bit of olive pressing uh, that is not that's cherries that's fine that's olives uh, uh, come here you give me those lovely lovely olives uh, and we can feel we'll be able to feel like you know one of those olive oil adverts with the, the, the little Italian uh, the image of the Italian olive harvesters and you know the olive oil and the pressing and we can get all of that we can get we can go with that we can do a little bit of uh, of olive pressing I think uh, right let me just finish this off I'll be back first rule of olive harvesting don't jump off the cliff <laughs> that hurt um, however we are going to we're going to grab you for starters and that should be those to those we should be able to then take you or take our axe because I really want this axe to break <laughs> just so I can use the fresh the shiny nice iron one that I've got uh, and the damn thing will not break it's refusing steadfastly to break so olive harvest olive pressing commence we're going to stick these here I think and we are going to place you on there we're going to go olives I don't know how much we need to put in let's just put the one in for now and then put the polished stone on the top that isn't going to work is it and I'll tell you for why thank you that is a fruit press now it's a hopper <laughs> uh, yeah important important distinguish uh, di distinguishing feature there let me right that should now be getting some olive oil excellent so let me press these up get the olive oil done and uh, we'll see see what we can do with this after that and uh, and see how long i've been recording as well and rambling and waffling and, and getting excited about black steel and all that kind of stuff um so I'll be back in all right well about 23 24 minutes in um i've done one batch the the one batch made about 250 well it made exactly 250 mil of olive oil with a 160 so and i just got a notification of something uh okay god knows what's going on. bring how exciting that that is the um twitch tv uh twitch subscription alert but i'm not actually streaming so i don't know anyway let's see what happens if i try this that's got 2000 hours remaining and it took about it took 250 a quarter bucket so let us now go down here and we'll place you back at oh hello that's quite nice i mean 2000 hours that is a a long amount of time uh what's that 2000 i mean if we're talking about normal normal days in fact let me let me just i'm, I'm gonna sorry my maths is terrible but fortunately my my computer has this thing called calculator uh which is oops no let's divide you by 24 83 days so that's not a trivial amount of time assuming we're talking about minecraft uh, about real time and not if it's minecraft time then that's even even more impressive anyway i think on that note 
what we are going to do is I'm going to just go and get a drink. We're going to have a discussion and a th talk about what we do next. Because I am, um, well, I need a break from the forge for definite. That's kind of, kind of a given. Um, that black steel has really taken its toll. It's, it's quite, um, quite a chore. Uh, and of course the next stage which is the red steel is even bigger chore so yeah we need to start thinking what we're going to do there what we're going to do next over here now there's been quite a few suggestions I, th I personally because we can't use this pier for the the better boats the small boats mod or rather re well we can't use it for the small boats mod and we can't leave the small boats engaged i would like to try and freshen up this area um and make it start start getting a build in place for that um let's go and have a look at our clipboard shall we and see what we've got olive press joe suggested that tick I've done that one <laughs> orchard and vineyard yeah we need to that's he's kind of an odd one and i need to get more more um trees windmill it's a biggie one lumber yard we're in kind of almost there on that candle stick maker fishing shack we can sort out um tavern would go in the harbor area so yeah we can kind of kill a few of those to-do list items if we go that way we can get like a little fishing shack area and, and get it all done and, and make it look nice and, and yeah hopefully make it look nice anyway maybe go to tavern uh candlestick maker i may put over there but yeah we definitely need definitely definitely need a break from uh from uh from the forge because Come on, give me some wine. It's all right. Just have a little little drink to uh, tide us over there. I'm getting a habit. Um, there's a forge. That's that's one aspect. Obviously, down here, I, d I I do need more iron because I do want. To, what I would like to do is get hoppers on these. But because they, I've got no means now of getting the um, creosote out. Although to be fair, I've run quite a few runs and we're we're nowhere near full. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem anytime soon. So there's that that kind of thing to do. Uh, can I make this jump? <laughs> Anybody else be like, yeah, I'll make that jump, no problem. Not me. No, I can't make jumps. Um, vineyard, lumber yard, that lumber, that's a kind of waste of time. Uh, we definitely need to finish off around the um, barn area. There's a lot of tidying up to do. Uh, I need to finish off this wall. This is not, not quite done. We need to uh, sort this out and that bit on the end there. So that needs doing. Um, lots of little bits. I'll have a think about it um, if you've got any suggestions um, as always all suggestions are welcome you know don't be shy just stick them in the comment section it's, it's down there uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah I mean one suggestion which has been made which is, is not really a doable thing for me right now is a mob spawner um, I can make a dark room mob spawner that's not a problem the problem is I can't channel those mobs to a drop kill or anything because we can't move water source blocks without a red steel bucket and we are a way off red steel but i did think if we got to the point where we could make one at some point we could potentially build it into this mountain at the top and have the drop feed down here but obviously we need the red steel bucket to get the uh, the water system running and then but yeah, once we've got that, we can get the mob drops, we can start getting um, gunpowder, we can make lots of gunpowder, we can actually have a bath with a powder keg, because I have never, ever, ever done a powder keg. Um, the alternative, of course, is we go mold mining for, if we have a look at the gunpowder thing, gunpowder, we can make gunpowder with saltpeter, sulfur, and charcoal dust. 
or charcoal, sulphur and saltpeter, one of that probably the better of the two. Seems um Oh yeah, it's gotta be we can't make that. We've got no means, so it's gonna be that one. Um so that's another alternative if we could go hunting for that. But uh yeah, suggestions on a postcard. <laughs> no, no postcard are, are we you don't know my address. And uh until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. We have, we, we're one step away from the big one. We are one step away from the tier six anvil. Um, it's a big step, um, but, and I need a break from it, but we are that close to red steel. And, and once we have red steel, we can make a bucket. All that, and we can make a bucket. So uh, yeah, until then, Thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, as I say, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.